Did you make a New Year's resolution to lose weight? You're not alone. You're also not alone if you're finding it difficult to keep that resolution. In our continuing series of important health information for women, Lorene Cachola joins us again with a look at how some in our area are taking part in a challenge to stick to that goal of losing weight. His name was James Suggs, and he lost about 60 pounds over a six-month period. I've lost 53 pounds. Amazing stories of successful weight loss. So what's the secret? These folks took on the challenge, the Healthy Church Challenge. The challenge brings together um, the churches in the community uh, to participate in like a six-month challenge to lose the most weight. Losing weight can be a daunting task. But getting together with others who share the same goal and being encouraged by their personal experiences is proving to be a major support system for these participants. And the popularity of this program keeps expanding, while those waistlines keep shrinking, all the while making healthier lifestyles a priority. We had probably about a thousand people participating last year and uh, really that was significant uh, for the city of Memphis as a whole just in being a healthier community. Hearing others share their experiences is a big help in adopting a healthy lifestyle but you may be wondering why the concept of a healthy church challenge? A lot of uh, people are dependent uh, upon their pastors for health information and direction which is interesting and combating that with the doctors and what your physicians, you know, recommend and what have you. But we see that there's, it's necessary for the two to work together. Letitia Fitzgerald is seeing the benefits of the challenge firsthand. 53 shed pounds later, she's showing no sign of slowing down in her resolve to be healthier. You have to decide to take control of your life, to manage your health, to take care. To say, this is what I had to face and just turn around and just say, hey, do I want to be here or do I want to, you know, be six feet under in a minute? The things I did in the house, I cut out a lot of the fat, I cut out sugar, totally. My uh, refrigerator, refri I emptied it of everything. I began to eat the fish, the tilapia I love, the uh, skinless chicken. Each time I made a salad, I made salads for my family. I prepared everything in advance. I drank three to four quarts of water a day. Uh, I just kept that quart of water with me uh, and kept filling that jug up. Add to that an intense cardio workout and Letitia found the recipe for successful weight loss. Those taking the challenge also find that keeping track of lifestyle changes is an important ingredient in staying on track for weight loss. We've also given them a health journal, which is the new thing that we've added this year, uh, because one of the things we identified last year is that we really wanted a way for the participants to have a way to document what, they're, what they've gone through, to be able to document any achievements or progress, and keep them encouraged and stay focused. Not only is Letitia encouraged by the success of her fellow participants, she's thrilled that her own family is following her example by putting fitness first. My husband had lost about 43 pounds. My son had lost 40 pounds. My daughter, she lost about 25 pounds. This year's challenge is already underway, but why not get ahead of the game for next year? If you'd like to get friends and family at church on the road to good health, call 901-579-9333. Who knows, like Letitia, you could be the next Healthy Church Challenge success story. For Smart Medicine, I'm Lorraine Cachola.